Good afternoon, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Maddie. And this is UC News at Three. Most of you already know we have just come back from a week off of school. Summer Simon's students looked like they had an amazing break. And we wanted to share some of what our students and peers did. In past years, Ursinus College sent students to various places for service trips. This year, the two destinations were Jamaica and Charleston, South Carolina. This year was the ninth annual, annual spring break trip to Beeston Spring, Jamaica, where Bonner members assisted with community projects, building two homes, painting two churches and a home, and revitalizing a community center. For those who do not know, the mission of the Bonner Scholars and Bonner Leaders programs is to transform the lives of students and members, their campuses, their local communities, and the world through service and leadership. The Bonner program is designed to heighten the overall education students and members receive by asking them to engage in ongoing service work and helping them develop the experience, skills, knowledge, and values necessary to make that work meaningful and lasting. Bonner leaders engage in 10 hours of community service each week of the semester and their experience in Jamaica helped them gain an international perspective on many of the same social issues they encounter domestically in their community service throughout the year. Sounds like an amazing time. Right? I would have loved to spend my break in Jamaica. Along with the group of students that traveled to Jamaica, another group of 20 students headed to Charleston, South Carolina to work in the East Cooper Habitat for a community for a week. They ended up working on two houses East Cooper Habitat for Humanities is a nonprofit Christian housing ministry that believes that every man, woman, and child should have a decent, safe, and affordable place to live. East Cooper Habitat for Humanity assists families by building safe, well-constructed homes. East Cooper Habitat for Humanity utilizes volunteer labor and donated funds to provide a hand, a hand up, not a hand out, to its partner families. Habitat homes are purchased by the homeowner using an affordable mortgage. Monthly mortgage payments are then directed toward future home building efforts as they are received. At the first house, they were finishing up some painting and siding to the doors. As shown in the picture, it looks like they did an amazing job. At the second home they arrived, there was a concrete foundation. They ended up leveling the grounds, built the structure, and even raised a wall. Awesome job, guys. Well, we'll be right back after this commercial. Remember, you are watching UC News at 3. Welcome back to UC News at 3. Over spring break, we had some of our own UC sports teams travel a bit to start off their spring season training. The Sinus College basketball team saved its best moment of the opening West Coast trip buying the game in eighth and taking the lead in ninth on the way eight to six victory at Occidental, the Bears first of the season. Clutch hitting saved the day as their sinus concluded its week long swing in the Golden State on a positive note by scoring six two out runs. Sophomore Brian Barani's two out two out infield single pulled the Bears even and junior Drew Roche delivered the go-ahead RBI double with two outs in the ninth. The Bears' first three hitters, Kozak, Uza, and Muma, all had two hits and scored at least one run, with Ospowski scoring one run, <laughs> two to three, and RBI and a run, and added a sacrifice bunt. Uoski and Mume each stole a base. Deseo worked 4.1 innings in a relief of junior state Mark DeLuc, allowing just two earned runs on seven hills and two walks and three strikeouts. Their first win under their belt, the Bears stayed on the road to face Immaculata for a makeup date, which was originally scheduled for Wednesday. Thursday's home opener against Gwen Mercy has been rescheduled for March 29th at 3.30 p.m. On another amazing no note, on their trip to California, senior Travis Kozak reached 100 career hits. The baseball team will head to Penn State Berks for a doubleheader on Sunday. The first currently scheduled home game is March 22nd 
against TC and J. Way to go, boys, and congratulations, Travis. Their Simus College softball team has kicked off its 2018 season with a 7-3 record over the spring break trip to Florida, including a seven-game winning streak to conclude the trip. Barris scored 53 over the course of the winning streak over the 10-game stretch team for runs. After dropping their first three contests of the new season, the Bears 7-3 have matched their longest unbeaten stretch since a 12-game run in 2010. Senior Caitlin Willis threw another game, complete game gym as Ursinus rallied for a 4-1 win over the Dominican in the opening. A freshman Morgan Comfort and sophomore Jennifer Hammonds combined on a 6 Hitter in a 7 to 0 shout out quitting. This hot start bodes well for the Bears, who have big aspirations for this season. They narrowly missed the Centennial Conference playoffs last year, finishing 17 to 19 and 7 to 9 against Centennial Conference opponents, just one game behind Franklin and Marshall College for the final spot. The team has looked very impressive so far and will look to continue their efforts, hopefully getting vengeance on some teams that kept them out of the Centennial Conference playoffs last season. The Ursinus College women's tennis team packed some momentum into its bags for the return trip home from Florida, routing St. Vincent by a lopsided 9-0 score in its spring break finale. The Bears lost a total of six games over nine courts to conclude their annual Southern swing a 3-2 to two record. Four players scored 6-0, six 6-0 to zero, six to zero shoutouts in single play. Senior Eileen Bivard at number one. Senior Ariel Danzinger at three. Sophomore Summer Bulkholder at five. And freshman Maddie Sorbo at six. Senior Ashley Wen was a 6-0, six 6-1 to zero, six to one winner at number two, moving into a tie for eighth in program history with 25 career singles victories. Freshman Madison Harvey had the tightest match, but unfortunately ran away with a 6-0, 6-3 triumph on the fourth court. Their sinus surrendered only two games in doubles play. The Zinger and Harvey posted an 8-0 clean sheet at second doubles, while Bavard and Wynn and Burkholder and Sorbo each 8-0 decisions at first and third, respectively. The women's tennis team welcomed Rutgers Camden and Lebanon Valley to the Valley Courts for their home opener on s Saturday, March 17th. The team's goals are to finish with another winning season and to make a second appearance in the playoffs. The team's slogan as they enter the 2018 season is all in all the keeping this priority the Bears through their season. Good luck with the rest of your season, ladies. The Osinus College men's tennis team was voted seventh in the Centennial Conference preseason poll. The Bears will be bringing back most of the last season's lineup, including their top two players. Last season, the team had finished 12 to seven overall, just missing, missing postseason play with a four to five record in conference play. The Osinus College men's tennis could team scripted the perfect ending to its spring trip, rallying back for a dramatic 5-4 to four victory over Merchant Marine in a match that came down to the last court. Senior Peter Shields and Mason Groff parried the clinching point, punctuating a thrilling finish with an 8-5 to five win at number two doubles to give the Bears 5-1, to one, a fourth win in five Florida matches. The Bears look at Rutgers, Camden, and Goucher on Saturday in the team's opening. Max Oberholzer dialed up two more dominating singles victories at the Sinus men's t tennis team split doubleheader in its home opening on Saturday. The Bears dismantled Rutgers Camden 9-0 before drawing the short end of a trio of three set single matches in a 7-2 setback to a strong Goucher outfit in the nightcap. The team's goals for the 2018 season are to secure a playoff spot in the Centennial Conference and get a victory royale and to hopefully get a win against Binghamton and Washington. 
Good luck, boys. Well, that's all. Thank you for watching UC News at 3 with me, Caitlin. And me, Maddie. We hope to see you next time at Arsenis College.